Welcome back. This is the qualitative election study of Britain's election night special. I'm Edzia. I'm Christy. We are discussing the leader impressions of our participants and we've reached Nicola Sturgeon. Quite an exciting one to do. Yeah. So um, as we've mentioned before, we are looking for positive, neutral and negative associations that we asked our participants to write of each of the seven party leaders. So we can start with positive associations for Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah. So Nicola um, and Nigel were our two most polarizing figures. And Nicola was more skewed toward the positive associations, but had some negatives. The positives that she had, people associated her with words like strong, confident, driven, also passionate came across uh, quite often in the focus groups. Smart and knowledgeable was another factor that people associated with her. The most charismatic leader, or a very charismatic leader, was another association people had with her. They also saw her as articulate, and she had some unusual associations that we didn't see with the other leaders, like tactical and affectionate. And we also had one person who um, found her so inspiring, She's they, they wrote, makes me wish I was Scottish. <laughs> By the way, the person who said uh, affectionate was a man. Yes. So that's the other interesting thing in terms of neutral associations uh, again linked to makes me wish i was scottish we yeah. had another person i and if, uh, who said um i wish she was on another party so i could vote for her mm -hmm. as a neutral this time yeah but yeah that theme came up again exactly um people did mention her nationality for some reason so she came across as very scottish or scottish um um, other associations in relation to neutral were agitator, but as a neutral, hard, again linked to strong, but I think people may thought it mm -hmm. might, could be both positive or negative. Um, and then uh, some people said that they were not sure about her as a neutral. Right. In terms of her negative, she was seen as the other side of being strong and confident for women as being aggressive, I guess for everybody, not just um, for women. Another association with her that was a negative was seeing, being seen as only having Scottish interest at heart. Other words associated with her negatives were arrogant, wouldn't trust her or not to be trusted, that she was a kingmaker, and that she shouldn't be getting as much attention as she is. Um, we did see a few, well, a little bit of a gender difference when it came to Nicola Sturgeon, which was not as clear uh, with the other party leaders. Um, and especially in her positives. Um, and I think you kind of mentioned a very good gender difference, so I'll leave it to you to discuss yeah. that. <laughs> so men and women both said very positive things about Nicola, but what I think is that men tended to admire her and, and see her as a very strong and confident leader and admire those qualities in her. I think women who had positives found her really inspiring, very inspirational, to see a woman up there on the stage speaking from her heart, articulately, passionately, convincingly, and going head to head with the leaders of the three main parties who are used to doing PMQs and the rough and tumble of politics, she very much took her place and stood her ground and didn't come across in any kind of, one thing we noticed was there were not the sort of gendered mm. uh, negative associations. So the word like bitchy and catty, things that are used to characterize women, powerful women. Mm. We didn't find any of that in our groups. And we also, when we asked people if they felt like there was any sex differences or sexual discrimination or anything on stage, they said no, that basically they felt the debates were very fair and that everyone held their own and was judged on their own merits and their own abilities, not based on whether or not they were a man or a woman. Yeah. So I think that we found that very, I mean, we have, you can speculate that there weren't such things being picked up, but of course you don't know till you ask. Yeah. So I think we found it was very rewarding to see how people were reacting to seeing women on stage and then also being really impressed with that diversity and the character that it brought out in the men and the women on the stage. Yeah, and in this, uh, in fact, when we did ask about the gender differences or um, if there were any, um, if there was any sexist language that was being used, we had some participants who came back quite aggressive towards us saying, we shouldn't even be thinking about these things in, in this day and age. I mean, how refreshing it is to have uh, men and women, uh, women competing um, on the same stage on equal footing. Yeah. You know, so we are even past 
these questions. The post gender. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think for me as an American, obviously, looking ahead to 2016 and the Hillary Clinton candidacy, it will be an interesting exercise to compare how women were treated on stage in the British elections where sexism has not been an issue at all and what might be perceived as issues in the American election. But that's, of course, for another vlog someday <laughs> in the future. So that's all for Nicola Sturgeon. We will be back with um, Leanne Wood. Um, and our participants' impressions for her in an hour. So till then, see you. Bye. Bye.